Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to do my May June favourites for makeup. Uh, I do have some extra bits and pieces here, so I will show you those as well. But um, the majority of it is makeup, and it's just things that I've used for the last two months that I kind of think I love them. I probably can't do without them, or um, things that I've just recently purchased as well. So the first thing I'm going to show you is probably why my hair is this colour. Um, in my whole entire life, I have never been pink, red, orange, anything like that. So um, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a bit of a change and it, I can just wash it out. It's this. It's the Kevin Murphy Colour Bug. Um, they're not new. They've been around for a while now. I just haven't tried it. Um, but the other day, or a few weeks ago, while I was at the hairdressers, I came across it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. Everyone says it's so easy to do, and it is. All you do, literally, is you just take it off, and you can see it's got a little, like, um, it's kind of like chalk eyeshadow, which is what people used to use in the past, just eyeshadow to colour it. And you kind of just rub it on your hair like that, and rub it in, and that's all it is. Um, so so simple it washes out um, it comes in this color which is like that neon uh, orangey pinky color it comes in a pastel pink it comes in a purple it comes in a white a lime green a bronzy kind of color so there's a few I think that lime green the bronze and even the white are fairly fairly new these ones have been around for a while so um, I don't mind the color actually it's kind of a bit different um, yeah, it's fun. It washes out, so easy, easy to do. And also, just a word of warning with these. Well, I was told when you do apply them, add like a um, a, a spray protector. So anything that you may you know use for your straightener or your hair dryer or a sea salt spray or anything like that, pop that in first and then add that. Um, it can take if you don't do that and it kind of stains it. It may take a while to wash it out. So I would recommend definitely spraying something or adding something to your hair before you pop that on. So the next thing I'm going to show you are uh, foundations that I'm absolutely adoring lately. I have been using these for a while now, a very, very long time, and I just love them more and more. Um, they're these, anyway. They're the Cinema Secret foundations. Now, um, you're probably not too familiar, or you know, most of you aren't probably too familiar with these. They're made in America. They're professional makeup. It's sweat proof. It's waterproof. Um, it gives you the most incredible finish. You just look airbrushed. It's absolutely gorgeous. I tend to use a face and body first on people, so I you know apply the face and body from Mac, and then I'll go over with this. And honestly, I've had every single person that I do just say how light it feels doesn't feel cakey but it gives the best coverage like it's just flawless um they come in these amazing palettes so if you like to mix your colors and you like to even do a little bit of contouring with the darker you know a bit of um highlighting with the lighter colors palettes are great they're very very inexpensive i think a palette like this i think uh what did a while ago it's probably about 35 dollars um that's cheap the quality is professional so definitely cheap so they come in palettes like that or you can buy them individually like this so um yeah I, I i just love them i think people don't give them enough credit because they are incredible products just a word of warning if you have very very dry skin i would advise you to moisturize um, definitely once if not let it soak in a little bit and moisturize again and then pop that on um, sometimes I find with people with very dry skin it can look a little bit flaky but if you put your matte face and body first or you put your normal kind of foundation just go over it where you need that little bit extra coverage with this it will look beautiful now the next thing I'm going to show you is probably something you can use with the uh, cinema secrets almost oh, definitely you can because that's what I use it is my beauty blenders I have spoken Spoken about these so many times but I truly can't get enough of them they are um, I use it to, for foundations for cream foundations like the cinema secrets um, to highlight so if I want to create a beautiful dewy kind of highlight um, contouring I use it all the time like they're just amazing and they give a beautiful finish now don't be mistaken I've had a lot of people say oh yeah I've bought it from Priceline or I buy it from wherever 
they're not the same. A lot of those ones can be a lot harder or they just absorb all your product or they're, they're just different. So if you are looking for them, look for the beauty blenders. I will pop a link below um, where you can get them from, where I bought them from. Um, and what you need to do is when they come, they're probably like half the size of this because this is wet and you wet it. So go under the tap, wet it so it you know grows um, and then just kind of squeeze all the excess moisture out and then apply your foundation. And I promise you, it really, really does get, give a lovely, lovely finish and they're very, very easy to use. You can do no wrong. So now that we're on to kind of uh, applicators and stuff like that, I thought I will show you my brushes that I have been uh, using. Actually, these two I've been using for ages, ages, um, especially the stippling brush. And I've just recently purchased some more. And what they are, they're the um, Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman brushes. And they are amazing. I use them every single time now that I've done a makeup on anyone. I have used them because one, they just give such an incredible, incredible um, application. It's so easy to use. Um, they're quite, especially like this one is really dense and, you know, to buff things into the skin is just beautiful. This one's a bit of a stippling brush, so, you know, a cream kind of blend, anything like that. Beautiful. Um, so that one's a stippling brush, that one there. This one is the Expert Face Brush. Amazing. This one is the Deluxe Crease Brush. Now, I use this one if I want to put a uh, primer and on top of the eye, so like a paint pot or anything like that. Um, even an eyeshadow you can pop on with that. Um, you can do concealing with this, uh, around the nose, spot kind of uh, foundation, whatever you want to do. Pretty much the same with this one. This one's just a little bit smaller and flatter. So great for concealer, you know, around the nose, um, a primer, anything. Like these, these four are just so versatile. You have these, you probably don't need any more brushes. Um, where I'm going to link below for us in Australia anyway, you can get online and it's heaps, heaps cheaper, unfortunately, than buying it from Priceline. So um, I'll put the link below where I got it from and you will see it's just so much cheaper. Unfortunately, I know it's really bad, but if you're going to buy this many too, you kind of want to save on them. So next I'm going to show you something I actually bought today and it is my Inglot palette. I'm going to be honest, I had never ever, I don't ever think, um, used Inglot products and um, just didn't really think they were anything special. They've been around for so long, just didn't care about them. And I've heard so many good stories about them lately, about how, how good the pigment is in the eyeshadow, um, the gel liner, how black it is and how long it lasts. So, so many wonderful things. So today I went there and I got, you know, joined, got my pro card and everything like that. And I bought a palette of eyeshadows. I'm going to show you if I can open them. There we are. So I've got these beautiful eyeshadows. And at this time I just got quite natural, neutral, bridal kind of colours, which pretty much um, is something that people wear daily. So I knew these ones are going to be used. Um, so I've got some beautiful shimmery, iridescent type of um, colours. And then I've got a few matte as well. I always like to have that combination. Some people just don't like to have any bit of a shine. So... Yeah, I've got this lovely palette and they're just beautiful. Have a look at those. Aren't they really, really nice? Um, you can probably see I've stuck my finger in all of those to test them. Um, but they're lovely. They've got a beautiful bronzy colour. I'm actually wearing right now this one, the purple. And I'm wearing a bit of this one, the matte kind of purple. And I put on, which one? This one on my socket so yeah i will that today and they're really good the the pigments and the color from it is just beautiful so i'm really really looking forward to testing these i'm now going to go on to lips i have um always loved red lipstick i've always um 
love to wear it. I just think it's such a beautiful color, very classic and very beautiful. And sometimes, unfortunately, with red lipstick, um, you know, you wear it and the minute it comes off, you can, it just looks really bad or, you know, you've got to keep reapplying and stuff like that. So, I have since discovered this. Now, probably a bit late on the bandwagon, but it's the Lime Crime Velveteens. And the one I got is Suede Berry. Um, there's Suede Berry and then there's a more red one. I can't remember the name. Unfortunately, when I was buying them, they sold out the other one. So, I got this one. And they are amazing. This is what they look like. They're just like that. And then you open it. And the actual formula feels quite wet, so it feels a bit watery. And then when you pop it on and it dries, it kind of feels velvety on your lips. And it does not budge. Um, I have worn this, I wore it out one night, we went out for dinner, we went out for drinks. Um, went back to someone's house, came back, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you, it was probably like twelve, oh, six, six hours. I didn't reapply. I probably could have got away with it if I, you know, really wanted to. It was just a little bit on the inside, and that's from eating food, from drinking, and everything like that. Like I road tested these, and these are incredible, incredible staying power. So it's a lovely color. This one is quite a light red orange. It's just beautiful. I'm most definitely going to get the other one, um, and I'll show you it when I do get it. And it's actually the colour that I wore in my last video. I had so many people asking. This is what I wore in the last one. The um, Velveteen in Suede Berry. Lime Crime. Lime Crime Velveteen in Suede Berry. Um, so that's it. It's just really, really beautiful. So um, if you love to wear reds um, and you don't like that, how it kind of comes off a little bit, Definitely, definitely give it a go because it's not going to budge. The second last thing I'm going to show you today is this by Terry, um, I think it's Juan de Rose, which is a Nutri Regenerating uh, Lip Balm. It absolutely just smells like roses, but of the best kind. It is beautiful. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, hydrating lip balm. Um, I don't think it has an SPF in it. I'll tell you right now. No, it doesn't have an SPF, but it has um, ro essential rose wax, flower oils, bio uh, ceramides, and vitamins. And it's just beautiful. I think it, I think it's around about $65 or $68 for the full tub. Um, which is a lot of money, but if you suffer from dry lips or you're just someone who just likes to wear, you know, lip balm instead of a lipstick or something like that, and you're happy to spend that extra bit on something incredible, definitely, definitely give it a go because you will love it. It's just beautiful, moisturizes my lips, smells divine at the same time, and you can also, like, whatever's left over, use it a bit as a cuticle um, moisturizer as well. So the very, very last thing I'm going to show you is this. It is perfume that I just bought. Um, it is the Maison Francis Kirkdian Paris. Now, I have so not pronounced that correctly, and I'm very, very sorry. But what I'll do, I'll write it in the comments below, like, you know, where I write the description. And I will write it correctly so you can um, see where you can find it. It is a beautiful smell. This is actually a men's perfume. Um, it's called... The actual smell of this one is uh, amorous, and it's beautiful. It's so I'll show you the bottle as well. The, the bottle's great. It's made in France, and this is the bottle. So it's like that. Has a gorgeous kind of metal steel kind of lid, and that's the bottle. And it's the smell is so beautiful. It's like a um a citrusy, which I don't really like citrus that much at all. But this one is just nice. It's a soft citrus. It's a little bit like Clinique Happy, the men's one, if you know that one. Um, so it's really, really nice. It is expensive, but I'm telling you, this will definitely last and the smell lasts. 
and my excuse was that it's a men's one so I can share it with my husband. Um, but I don't remind him that I have it so then he doesn't use it. Actually the last thing I'm going to show you is something that I've been using and I haven't enjoyed using it at all. Um, I don't use it for the purpose that it's meant for but nevertheless I have previously in the past used different brands and love it and I've gone back to them. But this one in particular, it's the um, their baby wipes, the Natty um, By Nature Baby Care. I found them in Safeway and I bought them because I thought they're very, um, you know, the sensitive wipes, they're unscented, they're fragrance free, chlorine free, biodegradable and all that, which is fantastic, loved it, so I bought three of them. Um, I don't like them, they just don't clean the makeup off my hands like, say, the Huggies do, um, which I've gone back to. They're just not, I don't find they clean or anything like that, so, you know what, I've got them now, I'll use them for whatever, but... Yeah, that's one thing. Don't know if you've, anyone out there has used it on their babies and they like it, but um, for me anyway, not a fan. So that is it. That is my major favourites, um, things I've just been using, things that I've loved, and things I just want to show you. So I hope you're all well, and I will see you very soon. Bye.